Now, okay. uh, my name is Maya, and I'm for that children should be allowed to own and use mobile, fo mobile phones. I think that in this world, mobile phones are essential for everyone's life. Mobile phones have advantages and disadvantages, but it all depends how you use them. In my opinion, uh, mobile phones are really useful in emergency situations. For example, if children come from school, they should be able to call their parents if they have an emergency situation. And how would they do it without phones if they don't have and even contact police if it's a very severe situation. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Isabel and I consider that children should be allowed to use mobile phones because of many uh, advantages. The first advantage that comes to my mind regarding social aspects is that uh, children can talk uh, to their friends and also send uh, text messages. For instance, friends can talk between them and can help each other maybe for doing some um, homework or helping with some doubts if they've got an exam. Also, I, also they can, uh, for instance, if I'm sick and I, and I don't go to class, uh, maybe my mate can tell the teacher that I don't feel very well that day. Great. Um, my name is Manuel, and in my case, I personally think that children shouldn't be allowed to, to use mobile phones or even to own them because um, they can a mobile phone so they use it can can create many health problems on children. Um, as we all know, um, children are more vulnerable, so that mobile phone radiation can strongly affect their the, the health. And in fact, there are direct links between brain cancer and the usage of mobile phones. And my second point has to do with the dangers that using mobile phones among children entails, because um, pedophiles or, or criminals can have access to their personal profiles on social media, so that they can be controlled or can even be bullied or, or abused. And furthermore, ma most of the content online is unsuitable for children. Including, including uh, pornography pages or violent games that can affect their behaviour and the way they interact face to face with other children or, or even with their family. And it also can create addiction. And there have been many cases of children addicted to, to using the mobile phone and can, can even know how to live without using them and they need it to in their daily lives. Hi, I'm Ellen. Um, each and every technology has its own advantages and disadvantages. For me, I'm against because um, um, having a mobile phone or other technology can reduce the time the children spend with his family. And we all know that how much a family is important to our life. So. For example, if the children have free time, they spend it on their mobile phone, just chatting on application or on network. Yeah. They don't save this time to spend it with the family. The real interaction is missing with this mobile phone. Okay, um, so my name is Marie and I am against mobile phone for children because I think that mobile phones now are considered like toys and it's not the case because mobile phones are like little computers so you can go on a lot of websites and you can spend money on websites and everyone knows that there are some stories about children who are educated by other children via their mobile phones and networks and things like that. And I think children doesn't, 
don't really know how to use mobile phone. They don't really understand all they can all that they can do with it. Okay, uh, Melanie, uh, one thing. Uh, you have said that mobile phones are like little computers. So, uh, do you agree that children should be allowed to have or use computers but no mobile phones? I don't know. It's not really the same because a computer, when you are a, ch a children, um, your parents can control what you are doing on the computer. Mm -hmm. They can put like some things, you know, to to say no, you can you can't go in this website. On the mobile phone, you can use it everywhere, all the time, at school, on in your bed, whatever you want. So Yes, I, I, I agree with with her and I think but in the case of computer parents can't look some web pages in fact we've put that option in most computers. But in the case of mobile phones, uh, children have more freedom to to see or to to look for information in, in whatever page or that. But you can, can also be... control. Yes, but it's more difficult because, because you've got WhatsApp there, you've got Snapchat, or, or even more more social networks that are only in mobile phones and are not in computers or dangerous. Um, what was in, in mobile phones? Uh, Manuel, I understand your point, but uh, I think that it's uh, teachers' and parents' responsibility to educate children, like what are the dangers in social media, and what kind of pictures you can put that something bad is not going to happen, and about the websites that they shouldn't go, they should explain them why you shouldn't go, why yes. it's not suitable to I your totally age. agree. Um, um, she, I think that if you can educate your children in away um, these advantages or in other words your education can avoid the advantages that sorry the disadvantages that you have said of using mobile phones i know what you mean but there's no real need for children to have mobile phones in fact there well, was, there was, have mentioned some advantages there was a, there was a time when people um didn't have mobile phones and, and nothing happened so yeah. children do not need that, they are children, they need to play and need to work with all the children face to face. And you spoke about emergency, but I don't know, 50 years ago or something like that, they didn't have mobile phones, so... Yeah, yeah, you are right, but I think that technology uh, is very good, so it is useful for many things. I know that some years ago there wasn't... Uh, there weren't mobile phones and technology, but if we've got technology nowadays, we have to use it. But we also must think about the dangers of technology. So, Helen, what do you uh, think yeah, about the dangers? Um, nowadays, children have tablets and also technology earlier and earlier, so they don't really know how to use it, like we said earlier. Um, yeah, it's true that you all said that emergency situations, the social aspects, but at the end, like nowadays, you have a three years old baby. He have a tablet on on his hand. No, or but we are like not saying it's <laughs> it's yeah, but we are talking about children, not babies. Yeah, and so I would like to add that it's like parents. Like what you said earlier about the family time and so on, that parents should set boundaries. Like when can you use your mobile phones? And when it comes to your point that they, they have like connections to brain cancer, for example, like they shouldn't have phones at night and they should maybe but have most certain uh, times. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, but children are very curious. You know, it's, vulnerable and can be yeah, easily mm -hmm. controlled and influenced. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really hard. And you've got all your friends who've got mobile phone and they do yes. a lot of things with it. So, yeah, I don't know, it's an age really difficult to control, you know. I understand completely. But, uh, um, for example, if the children really want to find out something, I think when you're saying they shouldn't have mobile phones, but if they really want to find out about those forbidden websites. They have their ways to find them anyways, I think. What do you think about the dangers on the health 
aspects. I mean, mm -hmm. about radiation and how can they affect okay, our, well, our they children. You can't, so you can't reduce your use, your use, uh, your use on the mobile phones. We are not saying that every time you have to be mm -hmm. all the time using your mobile phone. But it is so, still affecting them. Yeah, we're exposing them to something that. It's dangerous, but the thing is that there are many things that are dangerous for adults, for children, and we do it. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about uh, the addiction that it can create on children and how that can alter their, their behavior? And well, uh, I would like to say, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say before, sorry, mm -hmm. that also another advantage of using mobile phones is that uh, children uh, can be more independent. Yeah, but you have independence and being unsocial, like the real interaction you have with, I, I, I don't know, with your mom or with your friend. It's not. It's like today. It's just with your, your mobile phone. So, oh, mom, I I go to school. So, yeah, okay. But I'm in the same house. You can just work and say to me like bye. Yeah, I don't I'm know okay. if you I'm can be in independent <laughs> if you are an addict to something. But as if we said earlier, it's. Okay, so do we have what? Yeah. Children could, could use mobile yeah. phones with, with um, a very strict control mm. of their yeah. parents, uh, parents, 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 parents and, and yeah. know what, what they are doing um, yeah. and with social media. If I don't know some cases in which parents control their social media and they've got their passwords. Yeah, I think that parents are only allowed to use yeah. mobile phones um, on the weekend. So that could be a solution yeah. for that yeah. problem. Parents, yeah. parents have uh, <laughs> an important role yes, of uh, this yeah. issue. So and, and the way and all teachers are educators. and other so, educators. Yeah. Okay, so, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>